gorgeous, Sabrina here. Today I'm showing you a clueless inspired look. Can you believe that they just celebrated their 20 year anniversary? It's been 20 years since Clueless came out. What? I love this movie. Still one of my all-time favorites, and the look that I'm creating for you today was inspired by the makeup look that Cher was wearing in the date night scene with Christian. Remember when she flipped her hair and then she fell off the bed? <laughs> Best scene ever! But I love that makeup look, and so that's what I'm recreating for you today. And along with the tutorial, I will also be including fun facts and trivia about the movie throughout the video. First things first, I'm going to apply an eyeshadow primer. I'm using the one from Hard Candy in today's look, which is appropriate actually because Alicia Silverstone was the one that put Hard Candy on the map in the 90s. You may remember in my 90s video when I talked about when she went on the David Letterman show and he'd asked her what the nail polish was that she was wearing and she told him it was Hard Candy Sky and it was that really light pastel blue color and that just skyrocketed in sales for Hard Candy and put them on the map. I took some time to study her eyes in the movie and from what I could see in this date night look that she was wearing she had a really light color on the lid and then that brighter pink in the crease. So for this tutorial, I'm using Max Blanc Type. I'll be applying this onto the lid. And then I'm also using Max Passionate, which is a brighter pink. And these are both matte eyeshadows. But I don't want this to be a really packed on look. So I'm using a fluffy brush to apply both of these eyeshadows. And I'm first applying Max Blanc Type lightly all over the lid. I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush to apply this. I'm also going in with a little bit of Max Gesso on the same brush. This is a simple matte white eyeshadow. I'm applying this lightly onto the lids and up on the brow bone also. And then I'm taking the pink, Max Passionate. This is such a vibrant color, so a little bit goes a long way. I'm applying this into the crease. And like I said, it's a very strong color, so apply a little bit to start with and then build as you go. That's the first layer, very light. I'm going to go back and add a second layer here. And you don't have to run out and buy a pink eyeshadow either, especially if you don't wear pink eyeshadow on a regular basis. You could also use a blush in this step to achieve the same result. So if you have a pink blush that's similar to this color, perfect. Her lash line in this look was also very darkened, so I'm going in with the Rimmel Scandalized Pencil Itty Bitty in black, and I'm going to line the upper lash line, and then I'm going to line the upper waterline also. And next I'm taking Makeup Geek's Corrupt, and I'm going to be using a small smudger brush to blend this along that black eyeliner to make it more smoky. And you can see that I've already applied some translucent powder underneath my eyes, and this is to catch any of the fallout because, guaranteed, there will be fallout. Now for the lower lash line, she did have subtle definition there, but it wasn't heavy. So I'm going in with a brown eyeshadow. This is Max Handwritten, and I'm using the MAC 263 brush to line the lower lash line softly. Now I am convinced that she was wearing false eyelashes in the date night scene, because if you study her lashes throughout the movie, in other scenes they were very light and natural looking, whereas in the date night scene they were much more full and thick looking. So to accomplish this, I am going to be applying the Ardell Demi Wispies. Very natural pair, but a little thicker and fuller looking. So I went ahead and applied my face. Nothing real special there. Just remember when you do your face for a 90s look, everything was matte. No shine whatsoever. For the cheeks, she had the same pink color that we saw on the lids there. So I'm going in with the same eyeshadow that I used up here, Max Passionate and I'm going to use it as a blush. And her blush was applied more like right about there on the cheek and it went up. So it was more in a circular pattern and it went up and I'm gonna need to blend that out. Fair skin problems, am I right? <laughs> Although you know in the 90s, I did have a bright pink blush like this and I did wear it to school just like that. I mean, it looked like the Energizer Bunny had exploded on my face. Oh, there was no shame in my pink game. And for the lips, I'm doing a mixture of Max Girl About Town mixed in with Max Candy Yum Yum. 